And things remain mostly peaceful in Santee today and continuing tonight. Santee Mayor John Minto joins us live now on FaceTime to talk with us for a bit. Thank you, Mayor, for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me out here. Appreciate it. All right. Well, I imagine that uh, throughout the week there was a lot of concern about how any protests would uh, uh, would play out in your city and looking at things uh, today and tonight it appears that uh, best case scenario uh, has happened. Yeah, that's true. We had three rallies that were set for today, one at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and one at 3 p.m. The 10 a.m. didn't really uh, manifest itself. Not too many people showed up. The one at 1 o'clock p.m. was down there at Mast and West Hills Parkway, and there was about 200 to 300 people there. Matter of fact, uh, one of my council members, Rob McNellis, went down there, and he was in the crowd, and he marched with them, and he heard what they had to say, and he said it was peaceful. He actually heard a gentleman from San Diego say, I came down here to see what was going on because all the things I heard in the media over the last uh, few weeks, and what he said is, I didn't see any of that at all. He said this is a great community. He says they're very uh, warm and caring and accepted him. And then we had the three o'clock and everybody met down there at the YMCA, marched down to the uh, sheriff's station. And that, that's where we weren't really sure how things were gonna work out. But you know what? The rally members, they went down there, they laid out flowers, they knelt for their eight minutes and 46 seconds. And then they said a few speeches very peaceful and i'm proud of these people they did everything they've been asked to do they did it the right way and you know they're welcome anytime as far as i'm concerned uh, and then they disbanded and left now we did have just the one issue where a couple of groups faced off against each other and actually uh, you know shouted back and forth but maybe when you have a protest or you have people rallying you will have things like that happen and if as long as there's no violence, everything was good. They only lasted about a couple of minutes and then they all moved on. What a great day in Santee. Yes, it, it definitely a pleasant contrast compared to what we were seeing last weekend what was going yes. on in La Mesa and downtown. Uh, looking back on that, did that play any sort of a role in your preparations through the week? Did you take anything of what was going on out of control saying this is what we now need to do uh, this weekend? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I had met with uh, uh, the mayor of La, uh, La Mesa and I asked, you know, what happened here? What do you think really went wrong? Because I wanted to learn from what they experienced. And what I found out is they were really uh, far behind where they needed to be in staffing and they they just needed to handle things differently, I guess is the best way of saying it. And so we took the information that came from our sheriff and our city manager, and we created some plans and we tried to make sure that people would be safe, businesses would be safe and made that plea to everybody that was involved. And actually for the most part, except for maybe one night, uh, when we had some people that uh, got out ahead of us, uh, it was pretty, good this week. People got to say what they wanted. I even got to go out and be on the line for a little while with some of the rally members and listen to what they had to say so that we can create some systemic changes in our city at the very least. And if we can start it here, you can start it anywhere. All right. A good message and uh, good to see how things went out there today. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate you joining us. Take care of yourself. Have a good night.